welcome to The Early Show with Dr. Bell. I'm Dr. Bell, your host. Today, we're a new show, kind of like Good Morning America and Dr. Phil, but only not like them at all. The show is early, so we call it The Early Show, and we only talk about early childhood topics. So that's why we call it The Early Show, too. And I'm Dr. Bill, Dr. Bell, but not Dr. Phil. So today's first guest is a wonderful celebrity who's won many Grammy Awards for her talent in music. Um, but she's not here for music today. She's here for a special cause. Please welcome Miss Janet Jackson. Thank Hi. you, Dr. Bell. Hi, Miss Jackson. Can I call you Janet? No. Okay. Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. Miss Jackson. I am very interested in this new project that you're working on, on getting children recognized for potential disabilities early. Early. So I'm very interested in that. Um, and from what I remember, you are basically encouraging schools for young children and parents of young children to screen their children early to identify the potential for delay and disability. Is that right? That is totally correct. I totally feel that the world just needs to help screen the children. Great. And so the project that you're, you're sponsoring uses the ASQ. Is that a hard tool to use? No, I use it daily. I use the <laughs> ASQ. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, so what I've done is I took the liberty of putting together a little packet on how easy the ASQ is to use. So here we are, how to use, how to score the ASQ. The first step is to determine the child's age. Now, I remember you sharing backstage that this is really important because if you pick the wrong age on the tool, the results will come out wrong. It's it's very important to find the age. Okay. So it only goes up to age five. So this is for children before they get to school, right? Yes, before the early development. Oh, okay. So what you would do is first you determine the child's age, right? And then there's a trick to this. If the child is under two, I found this so fascinating. I love this part. If the child is under two, <laughs> you have to... Remember, it, uh, find out if the child's premature or not. And reduce, because everything's done in months, reduce that many months. So if the child's four weeks premature, that means he's really how many months premature? Five. One. <laughs> One month premature. So instead of doing a 24-month screen, if there's a 23-month screen, we would do that. Um, so I, what I did is I did the screen on a live child. That's amazing. I've always wanted to do it personally, but my busy concert schedule. Mm, I understand. So what I did was I picked a child who was 40, 48 months. Um, so you find out how old the child is, and you choose the appropriate questionnaire. As you can see, I picked the 48 months questionnaire because the child was 48 months old. Actually, he had just turned 48 months old. So you choose the appropriate questionnaire. Step three is you read over the important point sheet. In each of your questionnaires, there's going to be a front cover that says, important, remember these points. Read over those to make sure everything is okie-dokie and hunky-dory. So I read that carefully before I did the screen. Then the next step is to fill out the information page. I'll show you the information page. It's really easy to fill out. You just fill it out with the child's name. I'm using an anonymous name. It's called Child A. Um, the child's birth date, which was 5-27-2008, and today's date, which is 5-29-2012. So he just turned 48 months. This is the perfect screen for him. And so then I filled in the rest of the information. And then I went on to the next step. Sorry about that. It's fine, Dr. Bell. It's fine. Thank you, Miss Jackson. I like you, so you can call me Janet now. Thank you, Janet this. Anyway, um, step five is to administer the item. So I did that. You won't see that on film to save time because we only have a few minutes. But I went through each domain and I asked the child the questions and, and had them do the tasks. And then 
I put the check mark in the appropriate box. Now, in this tool, there are three boxes to choose from. There is yes. That means the child can do it consistently. He did it without any support or assistance. He knew it. Then there are sometimes. Sometimes you would check if you felt like he needed to, it repeated a few times or had to take a couple of tries. Uh, and then not yet was he just didn't get it. Couldn't do this one. So I, I did that for each of the items in the domains. Then it was time for me to do the scoring. Now I haven't done that yet because I wanted you to see me do that. Okay? So each yes gets 10 points, each sometimes gets 5 points, and each not yet gets 0 points. And if you remember, if um, Betsy, our camera woman, can zoom in on this, you see the first item, he got a yes. And then I left the other two checks blank. And there's a little line next to there. That's for me to write the points on. So the yes, if you remember, gets 10 points. So I'm going to write a 10 next to that. Are you getting it, Bet? Mm -hmm. A 10. And then this one, he got a yes again, so he got a 10. Now this one he skipped. He wouldn't do this one. And that's our next step is we have to total up each domain and do a ratio score if it's necessary. This is where the, the ratio or score is necessary. Now children can skip two items per domain and still do a ratio score. If they skip more than two items, you're just going to have to put it away for another day. But if they are only skipping two items in each of the domains, you can do what's called a ratio score. So the ratio score works like this. I'll finish filling in these lines for the ones he did do. He got a 5 there because that's a sometimes. And he got a 5 here because that's a sometimes. And he got a 0 here because he couldn't do it. So so I have to figure out what would go here. And the way you do that is you add it up, 20, 30, there's a 30. So he's got 30 points so far. And then figure out how many he answered. Well, he answered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And what's 30 divided by 5? 30 because that's how many points he um, scored. And 5 because that's how many items he chose to do. He only skipped one. So what would the ratio score be? 30 divided by 5? Six. Six. Janet's right. It's six. So he would get a six for the ratio score. And then you would total it up for the domain, which is 36. So for communication domain, he got 36. And then you do that for all the domains. Then you move on to step A which is answer the overall questions. I'm going to fast forward here for you. La 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 la. We're going to pretend I answered, I filled in all those numbers just so we can speed forward. And here's the overall section. It asks important questions that might not have a straightforward answer, but you're going to need to answer them to the best of your ability or ask the parent. Can your child hear? Do you think they hear like other children, see like other children, those type things. And then we get to step nine. We're almost through. See how quickly it's done? It's so easy a caveman could do it. Well, with equal rights being what they are, we don't make that reference anymore, Janet. I don't know. She apologizes. The censors may censor that out. Okay, so step nine, you're going to transfer all the information to the summary sheet. Now, this is my absolute favorite part, Janet. Don't you love this part? I love this part. It makes it so easy because what you're going to do is you're going to take everything you found throughout the entire booklet and you're going to transfer it all to this one, one sheet. sheet so I can have it at a glance. So you'd fill in this part up here. Here are the overall questions. Um, you got yes on all those, so I'm going to go ahead and circle those. And then... Um, Remember how we did the communication domain? Let me flip to that page. He got a 10, which was a, a yes. He got a, are you getting this um, cameraman, Betsy? Yes. Camera woman, Betsy? And a yes. And if you remember, he got a ratio score here of a, a 6, which is kind of like a sometimes. And I'm going to put a little six there. Um, he got a uh, sometimes here, and a sometimes here, and a not yet here. So what he got in his raw data, 
gets transferred to this chart. And if you remember, he got 36 points. 36. So that goes there. So the, the total goes in the box. Each item's answer goes in their individual boxes, and you do that for all of them. Now, you would then, after that, you would transfer everything over, and then you would bubble in the final scores for each domain into this chart. I'm only going to do communication. So for communication, he got a 36, which would fall right about here. So we're going to bubble in this bubble. Now, this is really easy to see. His bubble fell in the shaded area. We have a concern. He has not made it past the cutoff for his age group. So if the bubble falls in the shaded area, we have some concerns to consider. Which brings us to our absolute last step, is make a decision based on the cutoffs. So we know that he scored below the cutoff for communication. So in our recommendations, we're going to recommend that he gets screened again in uh, about two weeks on communication again. And if it doesn't get any better, we're going to suggest some possible interventions. We know that he might have a delay in communication. And then you would do the rest for each of the other sections and see where they fall. And you do a general recommendation for the parents. It's just that easy. Isn't it wonderful? It's wonderful. I have to use this on my nieces and nephews. God knows I have a big family. I just know that it will do some things for me lately. And, and, and how does it make you feel to know that you will know for sure whether or not your, your family members might have a disability or they're going along the path okay? It just it comforts me to know that I can actually depend on a system for my little early early developers in my family and all the kids out there because I like to sponsor America. Well, thank you so much, Janet, for coming. Um, in a few moments after this commercial break, we're going to have our next guest, which is going to continue on with this kind of thing when we look at the ASQ Social Emotional. Thank you, Janet. Thank you so much.